Four children welcomed Pope Francis and accompanied him during the last stages of his journey through Yai Square in Moldova in the northeast of Romania. Behind the stage was Moldova's national museum complex, the Palace of Culture. Although it was an informal gathering and not a mass, the image of Our Lady was placed near the Pope's seat. It is the icon of Our Lady of the Caicica. The bishop presented another image of the Blessed Mother for Pope Francis to take to Rome. A young man gave this testimony to the Pope about the difficulties of living the faith in a hostile environment. Afterward, this couple explained to the Pope about their 11 children, in which two are priests, another two nuns, and the rest married. They told them how they had disobeyed the communist regime, which did not approve of such a large family. In his speech, the Pope asked all people not to forget their roots and to be willing to collaborate with others. El maligno divide, disperse, separa e crea discordia, semina diffidenza. Vuole che viviamo distaccati dagli altri e da noi stessi. Lo spirito, al contrario, ci ricorda che non siamo esseri anonimi, che non siamo esseri astratti, esseri senza volto, senza storia, senza identità. He recalled the Romanian legend that says the end of the world will come when there is neither love nor understanding among brothers and sisters, relatives and Christians. This is because without God and without love, life cannot be lived. He said faith gives strength to love one's enemies. Lì, dove c'è molto rumore, che sappiamo ascoltare. Dove c'è confusione, che inspiriamo armonia. Dove tutto si riveste di ambiguità, che possiamo portare chiarezza, dove c'è esclusione, che portiamo condivisione. Before leaving, the Pope prayed to the Blessed Mother, entrusting the lives of these people and the whole country to her.